How does a traffic citation? Sir, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Sign the ticket. And so tragically. Hey, 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 come, sign the ticket! I can't breathe! Put your hands behind your back. In September, TSR Investigates told you about the Atlanta deacon who had just left Bible study. He got into a car crash, and this is how he was treated when an Atlanta officer showed up. Put your hands behind your back. What they did to our father, it was inhumane. He died at the hospital after being tased. The Shade Room now has the video from that night, and we now know the officer wasn't alone and pinning him to the ground. He had help from the tow truck driver. Now there's a push for both to be charged, even from Atlanta celebrities. That could have been me, you know what I'm saying? That could have been my father. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates Updates. August 10th, Southwest Atlanta, right near Spelman College. I was, we had, I had the green light, and all the traffic up here. That 62 year old Deacon Johnny Holloman explaining to responding Atlanta police officer Kieran Kimbrough what was happening. He got into a crash. Officer Kimbrough investigates and determines it was Holloman's fault. Case number for you. All right, I did find you at fault in the. That's accident. my fault. I was in the red light. Hey, I was, I, my, my light was green. Holloman didn't agree and. He was vocal about it. You cut your turn short. No, it was my fault. Why are you screaming at me? I'm not screaming. I'm saying it was not my fault. He ran into my truck. But you're going to sign this ticket right here before I get my sergeant out here. No, no, okay. no, no, no. You're going to sign this ticket or I'm going to take you to jail. He gives Holloman instructions for court. It's not a state of admission or guilt. Just saying that you plan on coming to court and paying the fine beforehand. I, I, I you can come to court. I do nothing. You can come to court and fight I didn't do the nothing. Ticket. No, I must be serious. I didn't do nothing. Who are you screaming at? I told I, you once. Lower your voice. My voice you're not, anyway. not going to scream at me. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time. Sign the ticket. So you, 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 Sign the ticket. You're trying to make Sign me say the I'm guilty of something. I'm not guilty of something. Sign the ticket. You know what you're trying to make me say? Sign the ticket. Okay, I'm going to sign the ticket. 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 Sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. How can I sign the ticket? You're acting crazy. I'm not doing nothing. Give me a... Sign the ticket. I'm going to change you. Put your arms behind your back now. Put your arms behind your back. By this point, Holloman can't sign anything. I'm acting up your back, please. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, please. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, I'm going to tell your ass one more time. Put your ass by your back. He gives a few warnings with his taser. And by this point, a tow truck driver is nearby and gears up to assist Officer Kimbrough. We're blurring his face because he hasn't been charged with a crime. According to the family, his name is Eric Robinson. Put your ass by your back. Put your ass by your back now. Holloman is tased for real, then unresponsive. You can hear Robinson let out a sigh of relief after. So long. The guy with the light. All right. They check his vital signs and say he still has a pulse. Officer Kimbrough calls for backup and EMS. Sit down now. Ray, yo, step it up. This guy's bleeding pretty bad. I think he passed out on me. It was too late. Deacon Johnny Holloman would later die at the hospital. And now we know how. According to the Fulton County Chief Medical Examiner, the autopsy shows his heart rhythm was disrupted as a result of being stunned by that taser. The report listing the manner of death as a homicide, and in this case, meaning that he died as a result of the actions of another person. It was also revealed that Holloman suffered from high blood pressure and coronary artery disease. The medical examiner in her report wrote, quote, that based on my review and interpretation of the video, Mr. Holloman is unresponsive from the time that the energy device is deployed. We mad as hell. Like, we want to see justice. We spoke to his daughter, Arnitra Holloman, at a rally just days after that video was released. We want this officer, Calvin Kimbrough, to be arrested. We want this tow truck driver, Eric Robinson, to be arrested. We want them to be indicted and prosecuted to the fullest extent. She stood with her attorney, community activist, even rap artist Young Jock, and members of his radio show. We call you to serve and protect us. 
the decibels of his voice may have been a little elevated. He's frustrated. You're not trying to hear him out. You're trying to make him sign a, a ticket. I mean, if you get me to sign a ticket, that sounds like an admission of my guilt. We told you back in September, this incident led Atlanta police to change their policies. Now, quote, if the violator refuses to sign the citation, the APD officer will inform the driver that signing the citation is not an admission of guilt. However, if the driver still refuses to sign the citation, the APD officer will write refusal to sign in the signature line and issue a copy of charges in lieu of a physical arrest, end quote. Officer Karen Kimbrough was fired on October 9th. Police Chief Darren Shearbaum said back then, quote, that he violated operating procedure when he failed to have a supervisor on the scene prior to proceeding with the physical arrest after Mr. Hallman failed to sign the citation, end quote. But it's not enough, says the family's attorneys. In the 290 year history of this state, not one single police officer has ever been held accountable for the murder of a black person, and that's gotta change. We have to demand that this officer and the tow truck driver be prosecuted. That's a must. On Monday, attorney Marilee Davis and his team announcing a lawsuit against the truck driver, Eric Robinson, and SNW towing for failing to train him. As Robinson, quote, remained on top of the citizen's body, continuing to straddle and sit on the citizen's head and neck. What they did to our father, it was inhumane. It was barbaric and it was senseless. We reached out to SNW Towing for a comment and to see if Eric Robinson works there. We're still waiting to hear back. As far as this case goes, it's in the hands right now of the district attorney who has yet to announce if any charges will be filed. Of course, as soon as we learn more, we'll pass it along to you. For TSR Investigates Updates, I'm Justin Carter.